Are you tired of trying to export your shorts and still getting low quality results when you upload to YouTube? Or are you confused by the multiple export options in Premiere Pro? Not sure what to choose and what to skip for the best shorts quality? We'll walk you through everything from setting up your sequence to selecting the correct aspect ratio and frame size. And finally, how to export your shorts in the highest quality by explaining each step. After watching this short video guide, you'll know exactly how to choose the best settings to ensure your shorts come out in top-notch quality every time. When using Premiere Pro to edit beautiful shorts, it's important to first set the correct sequence settings to match the vertical format for YouTube shorts. This step is crucial for maintaining the perfect aspect ratio for mobile viewing, even before selecting the best export settings. To begin, open Premiere Pro and navigate to the File menu. From there, select New and click on Sequence. This will open the new Sequence Settings panel, where you'll see various sequence presets. However, for our project, we'll create a custom preset with the specific settings we need. To create a new sequence, switch to the Settings tab in the Sequence panel. Here, you'll find a range of options to customize your sequence settings. This is where we'll input the exact dimensions and settings required for our YouTube Shorts project. This adjustment is a one-time process. Once you've configured the desired settings, you can save this as a preset and use it with just one click the next time. The editing mode should be set to custom. This setting allows you to manually configure all the sequence settings rather than relying on a preset. It gives you full control over the frame size, frame rate, and other essential parameters, time base. This setting determines the frame rate of your sequence. Frame size is up to you. But the choice between 30 FPS and 60 FPS depends on your content. For most content, 30 FPS works well, but for action packed or visually intense videos, consider 60 FPS. For YouTube Shorts, I recommend sticking with 30 FPS. The next setting is to adjust the frame size, which is crucial for creating Shorts content. For YouTube Shorts, it's important to use the vertical format of 1080 by 1920, as it perfectly matches the 916 aspect ratio used on mobile devices. To set this, simply flip the standard horizontal dimensions. You'll notice the aspect ratio will automatically adjust to 916, which is exactly what we need. Click on Save Preset. Give it a name and then click OK. Next time you want to edit shorts, simply select this preset when creating a new sequence. Alright, let's move on to part 2 best export settings. Once you've finished editing your video, it's time to focus on the export process. Start by choosing a file name for your export. This will help you easily identify the video later. Next, select the 1080p HD preset, which is ideal for maintaining high definition quality. Finally, set the format to H.264. This format is widely supported and ensures your video is compressed efficiently while retaining excellent quality, making it perfect for YouTube Shorts. Now, let's move on to adjusting some basic video settings. Start by expanding the video option in the export settings. The first thing you'll notice in the preview screen is that your short video may display black bars. This happens because the current frame size is set to 1920 by 1080 which is not ideal for vertical video. To correct this, click on the Match Source button. This will automatically flip the frame size to match the vertical dimensions we set earlier in the sequence settings, ensuring that your video fits perfectly without black bars. If you don't see the Match Source button, you can manually adjust the frame size. First, uncheck the Frame Rate option if it's selected. This will allow you to modify additional settings. Next, click on the drop-down menu and select Custom. This gives you the flexibility to set a custom frame size. Flip the dimensions to the vertical format, ensuring the width is set to 1080 and the height to 1920, then press Enter. You'll notice in the preview window that the black bars are gone, leaving you with a perfectly sized shorts video ready for export. The frame size you chose earlier will now be applied automatically. With the frame size set correctly, let's adjust a few final settings. Click on the More button to reveal additional options for fine-tuning your export. These settings will ensure your video is optimized for YouTube Shorts and ready to be shared with the world. Now, there's some debate around whether to enable these two options, with some recommending them and others suggesting they're not necessary. So what should we do? Enabling render at maximum depth increases color precision during rendering, which can enhance color gradients, particularly in videos with a lot of color detail. Similarly, 
The maximum render quality option is designed to improve the quality of scale video by using more advanced algorithms during rendering. However, it's important to note that while checking these options can increase render time and file size, they often don't provide noticeable quality improvements after YouTube's compression. YouTube compresses videos during the upload process to manage file size and streaming efficiency, which can reduce the benefits gained from these settings. It's often better to leave these options unchecked, focusing on proper resolution, frame rate, and bitrate settings instead. Under the encoding settings, choose hardware encoding if it's available, as it can speed up the export process. Set the profile to high and the level to 4.2. One last but crucial setting is the bitrate. Many people mistakenly choose a higher bitrate for YouTube Shorts, thinking it will improve the video quality. However, that's not the case. YouTube compresses every video according to its own requirements, so selecting a higher bitrate will only increase your file size without noticeable quality benefits. For YouTube Shorts, it's ideal to set the bitrate between 8 to 12 Mbps, which provides a good balance between quality and file size. Set bitrate encoding to VBR2 pass and choose a bitrate between 8 to 12 Mbps, as recommended by YouTube. This ensures efficient encoding with high quality results, particularly for YouTube Shorts, without increasing file size unnecessarily. Now that we've finalized the settings, there's no need to adjust them every time you create and export Shorts. Let's save this export preset for future use. Click on the three dots next to the preset options, Select Save Preset, give it a name, and click OK. This way, you can quickly apply this preset for Shorts exports, saving time and ensuring consistent quality without having to manually adjust the settings each time. That's it for today. Sorry if this ran a bit long, but I'm sure these tips will be useful for you. Thanks for tuning in.